Hello everybody, welcome to Wired Gaming. My name is Ethan, and today we are going to be playing Donkey Kong King of Swing. Um, what the? 13%? I don't remember playing that. Ah, no, back, back, back. Great start! Um, alright, so we're not going to, um, do that. We're going to start a new game. Um, so clearly I've played this before, this will not be blind, because this is one of my favorite games on the Game Boy of all time. And it's not really talked a lot about, which makes me really sad, because it's super fun. Tomorrow is the day we highly hold that competition. Whoever gets the most medals will be the jungle hero. Yeah, it's gonna be Donkey Kong, obviously. No, these medals are important, so don't let anybody steal them. I'll just keep them in here for safe keep storage. Safekeeping, safe storage, whatever. And here it is. Uh, so... The story, like most Nintendo games, isn't very detailed. <laughs> I guess I'm the jungle hero now. So you chumps don't need these medals. I'll just take them all for myself. And don't even think about trying to get them back, monkey brains. See ya! It's sort of got a... Sort of got a Wily... Uh, Dr. Wily craft thing going on there, doesn't he? Minus the weird, worry, whiny sound. Oh uh, no! Now we can't build a tournament! We have to get those medals back from King K. Rule. And off we go. Alright, so I'm gonna stop really gonna talk about this. I'll just sort of explain it to you guys as I go through this. The controls are super simple. You use the control stick, or use L and R or the control stick to move around. Um, L and R is what I usually use because that's sort of the idea of this game. You use the trigger buttons on the Game Boy to, um, to, uh, do the controls. Um, here, here's the kind of the main gimmick of this game. You have floating pegs, you, um, climb around on them using L and R. There's pe floating pegs, peg boards, and you collect bananas, and that's pretty much it. Um, the bananas are super important to collect for reasons that Cranky will explain in a second, but I just want to get as fat quickly to the game as possible. All right, next we'll look at midair movement. You know, so midair movement, just hold down the buttons in the air to move. Um, so while we're doing this, I just kind of want to talk about, um, how, just, I don't know, sort of my memories with this game. Um, I, this was one of the first games that I ever got on my Game Boy. And the Game Boy was my very first portable console. So, it just, it has a very special place in my heart, and I've always loved playing it. It might not be perfect, but I think it has too many good qualities for people to overlook. So, if you want to play along, and you have a Game Boy, buy this game. If not, I will admit I am using an emulator because I don't have anything to record a Game Boy with. I don't support pirating, but I do it sometimes, mostly when I have the game, but or had the game, but don't want to do want it to, or I don't have it anymore. All right, so um, something we sort of skipped over just now was um, Cranky was ex Cranky explained the. Um, use of the bananas basically which is to heal yourself which you press B for 10 and for 10 bananas you will restore one heart and you can press A to sort of go into an invincibility mode which uh, it's called going bananas uh, very clever Nintendo um, and it let it makes you invincible for a short time it boosts your jumps uh, and attack it's very helpful in certain situations. Uh, counting on blah 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 blah. Okay, here we go! Um, what was I gonna say? That might happen a lot with these playthroughs. Um, oh! While we're going through this first level, which is super easy, um, I sort of want to talk about the format that I'm gonna be doing for this. Um, so... I don't want to just do Let's Plays. That's not what this channel is about. Well, it is. It's mainly Let's Plays, but... Uh, my idea was... I haven't really seen, you don't really see a lot of people do this, which is do like a let's play of the game and then like do a formatted review of it, which I thought would be kind of fun. So I'm, I'm going to try that out. Let me know if you guys think that's a dumb idea or not. Um, but most of, I'll be playing most of my favorite games 
But if you guys have any suggestions for games you want me to play, um, I will be doing eventually sort of a like one-off series where I just every week I play some game for one episode. Um, the series will mostly be um, will mostly stick to uh, my f Nintendo games. Uh, well, okay, no, not not mainly Nintendo games, I suppose, but. It'll basically be, like, just games from my childhood, games that I love, and ga ga mostly games that I think will make interesting series. Um, oh, come on, come on. One more banana. Uh, and I just sort of glossed over, um, we just got a Crystal Coconut, which is another one of the collectibles you can get in this game. You, can, you get, um, bronze medals, silver medals, gold medals, which are just, like, the overall collectible you're supposed to get. And crystal coconuts. They unlock stuff in the multiplayer mode, which I might show off. I don't. I don't know. You guys tell me if you want to see that. Um, let's go to tro uh, tropical treetops, and this will probably be probably be where we leave things off for this episode. Um, after this level. Um, something else I want to point out that I I will be featuring in the end slate is um the music in this game. Some of the best music from Nintendo. I've ever heard. At least from this era. It, 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 I just love it. It, it. To be fair, I do have a bit of an affinity to jazz, and that's the main style of music in this game. Because King of Swing, get it? it it's a pun. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so... The, the, the music is just fantastic. Oh, here we go. B bonus barrels. These are always fun. Uh, alright. So... The goal of these bonus barrels is to, um, you have a time limit, and you have to collect all the bananas. But it's, it's all, I'm pretty sure it's always collect all the bananas before the time runs out. Um, and, and for your troubles, you get a crystal coconut. And we'll move on to the next screen. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? Um, I don't know. Um, how are you guys doing? <laughs> Uh, okay, so kill this thing and move on. Um, <laughs> sorry if I'm a little awkward at first. I have never, oh, okay, I have done a Let's Play channel. Some of you might be back over from my old, um, Mr. Legend of LP channel that back when I was in, like, freaking middle school. Oh my god, that was quite the time. <laughs> um, ah, come on. So, if you're here from Mr. Legend of LP, welcome back. Glad to be back in the swing of things. Eh. 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 Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to finally be doing this again. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. And that is the end of the stage. So, uh, in the beginning, the stages are sort of easy, but they get quite a bit harder as you go on. This first world is, like, o almost overly easy, but uh, we'll see more in the next episode, uh, which will be in the next episode. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to be ending these things off. Um, so, next time, we will be headed towards uh, Contraption Cave. Because I... It, I don't know. Just because it seems natural. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, see you guys next time.